This is R2D2. Uh, wait, it may not be right. It is oh D2822A. Interesting little chip. I think it's based on the TDA2822. I don't think they're the same. One I think is pretty legitimate and serves a useful purpose to do audio amplification where maybe the output is something like a set of headphones rather than full-on speakers. And uh, this one purports to do the same. I've seen a few tutorials online where uh, they use something like this. I do think it's a, the TDA2822, the legitimate one, to run a couple of uh, big speakers. But I'm going to, with some bits and pieces, maybe have a look at these size speakers. So they are uh, 8 ohm and 0.5 watts. Now I think in the data sheet for the both the TDA2822 uh, and the DA2822, look at all these things sticking, uh, um, then uh, you're looking at 4 ohm speakers. So, and I do have some 4 ohm speakers somewhere, not sure where they are, but I'm going to use these little uh, 8 ohm uh, guys and just see if they work. It supposedly has both a stereo input and a stereo output. I may end up connecting it just to a single speaker. And uh, I've got my little input here, so I can put, uh, you know, cable it into a phone or uh, something like that, three and a half mil jacks. But yeah, I'll, I'll, what I'll do first is I'll have a look to see what the pins do here, put it on a breadboard. Uh, you really only need, I mean, one of the, the joys of this little uh, unit, according to the data sheet anyway, is that you don't need an awful lot in, in order to get some noise out of it. And uh, and so we'll hook that up and see if, it, uh, see if that actually does work. Here it is in all its glory. You can just see the D2822 underneath. Um, I'll put the circuit up from the data sheet up here. But basically, you've got um, that's a thousand microfarad capacitors coming out of the outputs, which is pin one and three. Uh, pin two is VCC, and I've got five volts coming into that. And uh, then I've got uh, ground coming out of pin four. The speakers, um, such as they are, and, and they <laughs> keep sticking together, um, yeah, they're pretty ordinary. In fact, there's lots of pops and crackles and whistles already and I haven't even put some music through there yet uh, and then uh, coming out of that also that capacitor there are a little uh, hiding behind here there are 100 nanofarad capacitors and then they go to ground via these 4.7 ohm resistors on the other side you've got the cable coming in which is your left and right the ground is the uh, the first pin here and that goes to pins six and seven. And then you've got 10K resistors going down to ground from that. And from pins number five and eight, we have 100 uh, microfarad capacitors going down. And then the little capacitor at the back is just a smoothing cap on the power rail. So let's try some music on that and, uh, and see how it goes. I'm not expecting it an awful lot at this stage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty ordinary. Uh, so let's try changing the volume. I'll make it up a bit. Lots of distortion there. Yeah, that's a bit better there. What I might do is swap out these speakers though to see if it's a chip problem. Let's see how that's going. Oh, that's nice and cool. Uh, whether it's a chip problem or whether it's a speaker problem, I suspect speaker problem. Uh, I'll swap out the speaker and we'll uh, all the speakers for one single speaker and see if we can't improve on that sound. At least it's working. This is a pretty ordinary speaker as well, but you know it's a decent size and uh, I rescued it from uh, a recycling center. It's had a bit of a bash here in the middle, but you know it's a good test speaker. It's got some lovely thick cables. And uh, it's even sort of copper on one side and silver on the other to indicate, I presume, uh, VCC and ground signal out and back again. 
Not really sure how this is going to work out. I've only got the one channel coming out, not the two. Maybe we could try it with two, but we'll just try it with one to start with and see if it's any better. Well, it's, yeah, that's pretty nice. I don't know how much of that the, uh, the camera is picking up, but that's good sound. Let's get the other channel hooked up and see if we can do both. Two lousy speakers now, and uh, a bit better than those other silly ones. A little bit of crackling and popping coming from this one, but uh, let's see if the chip can drive both. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting left and right there. That's pretty good. I might just try and get in and see what the temperature's like. Not even warm. Quite a rich sound. Amazing, really, for... I'll just turn that down a little bit so you can hear me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I can hear a bit of background hissing now. I might try and put that through maybe a low-pass filter uh, and maybe a high-pass filter as well and see how that works. But that's that's pretty good. So just a few components, very cheap chip, a couple of uh, reconfigured, or not reconfigured, like um, recycled uh, speakers from the recycling centre and not a bad sound out of that. So it may not be the original, the TDA2822, but the D2822, um, all good. I pronounce that uh, the circuit working. See you next time.